Hello, it's Riyad and um, welcome to the Internal Medicine Board Review Cardiology Series. And the topic for today basically it's aortic regurg. The aortic regurg, the treatment maybe for the aortic regurg, this was the subjective topic for, uh, for the last year. So, aortic regurg, how you can evaluate the aortic regurg? First by echo, and what you have to see on the echo guys, you will see the following. Uh, first, you have to know it's, it, there is an aortic valve leaflet and orifice, right? So basically, this is the aortic valve leaflet and orifice. And also, what you have? You have left ventricle, left ventricle function, and you need to assess left ventricle systole. So, uh, so it's just a kind to the anatomy. So you have aortic valve orifice and aortic valve leaflet, and then left ventricle systole. And then you have to see the volume, which is basically the regurgitant volume. And they measure it by jet width. If the volume is usually less than 25% of left ventricular output or more than 75% of the ventricular output. So if it's usually less than 25%, it's just you know mild aortic regurg. If it is more than 75% of left ventricular output, it's basically severe aortic regurg. So this is what we call a jet width. And then echo doppler. It will, uh, maybe, may, you can see it more in echo doppler, but I think it's too much for, for the exam. Second, I put this intentionally, which I don't understand in the beginning, because one of my attending, basically, he has, he has a test a few months ago, I'm, I think a few months, right? I think, yeah, a few months ago, in term medicine, um, and he said he, ha he, has, he had this in your test. Vena contracta width. And this is a kind of physics term, although it's, you will see it in, in, in echo, but this is a kind of physics indicate a velocity through the, through the orifice. So if you, and, and this is a kind of number. If it is a 3, this is mild. If this is 6, this is severe. Uh, do I know more about that? No. Do you need to know more? I don't know. But uh, I basically just put it because, uh, because I think it's important for the test. So if you will see it less than 3, and I think this indicates a velocity through the neural orifice. If you will see it less than 3, it is mild. More than 6, it is severe. So basically, these are the parameters so far that you have. You have, so for the aortic orifice, lead ventricular function, jet width, and vena contract. Aortic orifice, you have, no, sorry, aortic valve, study the leaflet and orifice, and then jet width, vena contract, and finally, lead ventricular systolic or left ventricular dysfunction and then you will see here you will see here more maybe it's uh, they divide into mild and moderate and severe they like this but they love this and look what we did is a structured left ventricular systole and aortic valve leaflet if it is normal usually mild or moderate normal if it is dilated this is usually severe and the echo finding jet width and vena contract as i told you more less than three and more than three and less than 26 and more than 26, right? And more than 25, sorry, less than 25 or more than 25. If it's less than 25, the jet width is usually mild. If it is more than 75, it's usually severe, right? And then the regurgitant volume, which is around of less than 25, more than 25, the volume less than 30 or more than 60. I hate these numbers, by the way. I hate it because it's difficult to memorize the numbers, but I put it because I don't know. That's what I feel. It's important because I hear this vena contract number six. I hear it. Vena contract number six. That's why I put it. So basically, this is the echo finding, and um, and this is the mild, moderate, and severe. So if you'll see patients in severe, so the echo follow up within months, right? And the echo, if it is moderate, echo follow up within two to three years. If it is, um, if it is sorry, mild. This is basically if it is mild within two to three years. And if it is moderate, so the follow-up will be one to two years. And makes sense. The moderate needs less evaluation than the mild, and severe needs more evaluation, more frequent evaluation than the moderate and severe. So I think this is basically the question. Or I mean, I mean the I mean the idea is the idea is how frequent to do the echo depends on parameters that you have. And six seventy-five dilated these are severe. Just the opposite make the mild, make it mild. Anything in between it will be moderate. And I think the severe is more important, maybe. I mean, I think the severe and mild is more important, maybe the moderate. I'm not sure. Not what I feel. So this is basically the echo uh, evaluation. Now, the treatment, according to, to 2008 guidelines, they said vasodilator, yeah, it's the mainstay for treatment. It's not a treatment. It's just a kind of a bridge before surgery or decrease the progression of disease. 
So if the patient is symptomatic, severe aortic regurg or left ventricular dysfunction, surgery contraindication, you can treat it with vasodilators. Or maybe the surgery is not contraindication and usually the patient is severe heart failure or hemodynamic instability, you can treat it with, you can still treat it with vasodilator, it's a kind of a bridge, make the patient hemodynamic stable, and then go to, and then the patient has to go with surgery because basically there's more severe symptoms. So again, if symptomatic aortic stenosis, most of the time you need to get you need to prescribe vasodilators. If the patient has to go with surgery, it's a kind of bridge before vasodilators. If no surgery, surgery contraindication, you know, just keeps with vasodilator, you don't have any other options. Now, is vasodilators anytime? No. Asymptomatic, not vasodilators. Aortic regurg. Usually, if it is lead ventricular systolic function, there is no problem with echo, no vasodilators. And then remember the vasodilators here, nifedipine or ACE inhibitors. You know, ACE is everywhere. And I, I remember it's nifedipine, which is a calcium channel blocker, is, is important here for aortic regurg. Okay? So, this is for aortic regurg evaluation. Thank you.